Kamchatka, Russia, July 30th, 2025. An 8.8 magnitude earthquake struck the Kamchatka Peninsula in Russia's Far East on Wednesday, July 30, 2025, triggering a 13-foot tsunami, damaging buildings and triggering warnings and evacuations that stretched across the Pacific Ocean, including Japan, Hawaii and California. The 8.8 magnitude earthquake struck Kamchatka early in the morning local time. The earthquake triggered tsunami warnings in several countries, including Russia, Japan, the Philippines, the United States, Chile, Hawaii, Guam, Papua New Guinea, and Indonesia. According to AFP and the official Telegram account of the Russian Emergencies Ministry, seawater had flooded the port city of approximately 2,000 people. The tsunami partially flooded the port city of Severokorelsk. Residents have been evacuated, the ministry said. Several people were injured in the remote Russian region, while much of Japan's eastern coast devastated by a devastating earthquake, and tsunami in 2011 was ordered evacuated. Today's earthquake was serious and the strongest in recent decades, Kamchatka Governor Vladimir Solodov said in a video posted on social media. Tsunami waves of 10 to 13 feet were recorded in parts of Kamchatka, said Sergei Lebedev, the regional minister for emergencies, who urged people to stay away from the coastline. The US Geological Survey said the quake was shallow, with a depth of 12 miles, and centered 74 miles east-southeast of Petropavlovsk Kamchatsky a city of 165,000. The survey revised the quake's magnitude down from an earlier 8.0 and reported a 6.9 magnitude aftershock shortly afterward. The Japan Meteorological Agency raised its warning, stating that tsunami waves as high as 10 feet were expected to reach large coastal areas starting around 1 o'clock GMT. Public broadcaster NHK stated that evacuation orders had been issued by the government for several areas. Please evacuate immediately. If possible, move to higher ground and away from the coast, an NHK announcer said. Factory workers and residents in Hokkaido, northern Japan, were evacuated to a hill overlooking the sea. As shown in footage from broadcaster TBS, the US tsunami warning, system also issued a warning of hazardous tsunami waves in the coming hours. Waves exceeding 3 meters are possible along some coasts of Russia and Ecuador, while waves of 1 to 3 meters are possible in Japan, Hawaii, Chile, and the Solomon Islands, it said. Smaller waves are possible along coastlines across much of the Pacific, including the US West Coast. <laughs> Hawaii ordered evacuations from several coastal areas. Take action. Damaging tsunami waves are expected, the Honolulu Department of Emergency Management said on social media. The Hawaii warning urged residents in low-lying areas to move to higher ground or to the fourth floor of buildings. 
Some people sought medical help after the earthquake. Oleg Melnikov, the regional health minister, told Russia's state-run news agency. Unfortunately, several people were injured during the seismic event. Some were injured while running outside, and one patient jumped out of a window. A woman was also injured inside the new airport terminal, Melnikov said. All patients are currently in good condition, and so far no serious injuries have been reported. The Russian Academy of Sciences declared the earthquake the strongest to hit the region since 1952. Russia's Ministry of Emergency Situations said via Telegram that the port in the Sakhalin city of Severokorilsk and a fish processing plant there were partially submerged by the tsunami. Residents have been evacuated. However, due to the specific characteristics of the epicenter, the intensity of the shaking was not as high as would be expected from such a magnitude, said Danila Chebrov, director of the Kamchatka branch of the Geophysical Service. Aftershocks are still occurring. Their intensity will remain quite high. However, a stronger earthquake is not expected in the near future. Kamchatka and the Russian Far East are located on the Pacific Ring of Fire, a geologically active region prone to major earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Okay, thank you for watching to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe because I will give you the information about the natural disaster around the world every day. There are many natural disasters around the world. Flooding, storms, tornadoes, and others. And I will give you the information about that every day. So stay with my YouTube channel. This is condition in my village. My village is flooding, flooding because heavy rain. That. Oh my God. My neighborhood is flooded. This is the main street in my village. It's flooding. Oh my God. I live in a village in a country in the Southeast Asian region. Flooding in the end of July. Whoa, look at that. Whoa. Okay, once again, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.